what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> DC. I want to just out because don't be they're, they're, they're a very weird, weird, weird comedy because these are the same guys that allowed Zack Snyder to run their franchise into a ground. This is the same guys that's green is that piece of crap Matrix 4. And now let me get it straight. The new Batman and Superman, Supergirl and Batgirl. Because what I think DC are doing, I think they're playing a very dangerous game. I'll tell you what the game they're, they're, they're trying to play. The game they're trying to play is what's cool now? What's the it thing? Woman. Hashtag me too. Let's put women in there and so forth. And boom, we're going to now try and bring in the nerds and the geeks who just wanted to say sexy girl in there and also bring in the woman as well. I don't know how to say this, but I'll just say this as simple as I can. Women as a whole don't give a crap about the stuff. Now, some women do, but they're a freaking anomaly. Most women don't give a damn about Batman, Superman, Spider-Man, or any X-Men or any of the superhero stuff. They don't care. They would say they care about the MCU or whatever, or if it's a Henry Cavill, or if it's a sexy person, but specifically really caring about the stuff, they don't. So who are you really trying to appeal to? Because you're going to alienate the people who want to see Superman and Batman. They're like, wait a minute. I'm not, I'm not supporting Supergirl and Batgirl. These are minor characters. Bro, I didn't know Supergirl existed until about a few years ago. And even when I saw it existed, I completely dismissed it. I had it. Batgirl for me doesn't exist. For me, Robin doesn't really exist for me. But for sure, Batgirl doesn't exist. There's only one guy and that's Batman. It's Batman and that's it. Batgirl for me is does not exist at all. So you're bringing in class tier X, class Z characters. I went into it. Bro, have you, do you have, have you seen what Supergirl look, look looks like? Because I'm sure you've seen the images from the Flash. Have you seen what Supergirl looks like? <laughs> have you seen what's bad? Do you have you seen what Leslie Grace Law looks like? That's your bad girl and Supergirl? Because my thing is this. Henry Cavill is, is garbage. Henry Cavill is a garbage. A wooden door with no expression has more character and personality than that freaking brick wall known as Henry Cavill. So Henry Cavill as Superman is trash. Ben Affleck, okay, it's fine. He was, he was better than Henry Cavill. No, but it's like, there's not so much you can do because he's, he's a brick actor as well. But DC, I'm sorry. You can't have your franchise or your DC. You can't have it carried by Batgirl and Superman. Now, recast Superman, yes. Recast Batman, yes. And bring a whole new... Well, as opposed to the Batman, that's in a separate un universe. Because obviously you've got the um, Robert Pattinson, Matt Reeves one coming out in March. So that's obviously a separate universe. But if... You... Now, here's this, this is the bottom line here. You don't have to copy Marvel. You don't have to. For Marvel, that's just worked. And it was meticulous. See, they think this you, you don't have a Kevin Feige. See, Kevin Feige, he planned this all out, and it was a great blueprint that it was meticulous. No one in the in WB or DC have a guy like a Kevin Feige, an overseer. Because the issue is that you gave the keys to the entire apartment to, to that numbskull known as Zack Snyder. He's a talented numbskull, but he's still a numbskull. I now saw what happened with that weird banana and that gutter trash Man of Steel movie. It was, got, it, was, it was trash. You freaking messed up that amazing Hans Zimmer freaking music. My advice is do Joker. Do another Joker. Do standalone films. But you know why they'll never do it? They are jealous of the money they got. That's why they try to pull out Justice League. They try to do Black Adder. They try to do all stuff because they are jealous of what Marvel did. But you will never do it like Marvel. Because Marvel, they got this. They have this down. And people on Mars have invested in the MCU. They've invested in it. The way that the general audience have invested in the MCU, they will never invest in the DCEU. So the only thing that works for you is do quality standalone films. Because how DC beats Marvel is DC, you can be adults. Marvel can only be Disney. It can only be PG-13. For DC, 
look at that, look at that Batman trailer. You can push, the, you can push the edge. You can be edgier. You can take a lot more risks. You can sell us up a lot more. Let's have a proper Death of Superman story. Let's have an older Batman story. Let's have like a Star Wars esque Green Lantern film that's actually better than that trash that was that was released. Let's see what you do with the freaking Flash. Do this standalone stuff because if you now start combining and so forth, I'm sorry. Unless you have a guy like a Kevin Feige who knows how to handle this stuff, you will always freaking fail.